Hi, welcome for our RTL online trainings and placements. Now we are going to talk about what is the responsibility of functional consultant and why, uh, why we required functional consultant and where exactly we'll start uh, the position, this functional consultant. Generally, uh, what we have discussed in our previous sessions is uh, in cloud, HCM will find two types of jobs. One is functional consultant. Another one is uh, technical consultant, right? So now we are going to talk about the responsibility of the functional consultant. Once the application is available, now let's say fusion applications uh, are taken by our client and the client has been subscribed for the couple of modules. There will be a fresh instance. There will be a fresh instance okay when i say fresh instance there will there will not be any data there won't be any data like uh, in our previous session here we discussed uh, how to create a company how to create a branch how to create a department how to create a job how to hire employees like that so the client is supposed to do uh, those transactions for that before we will we will do as a functional consultant Functional consultant responsibility is first as a functional consultant, we are supposed to give the workshop. We are supposed to conduct a workshop to the client. So workshop conduction, we are supposed to do it. So whenever we perform the workshop, then client will be very clear what are the features are available in the product and what are the options are there in the product. So that will be done. Second one is after completion of the workshop, then we are going to interact with the client. Interact with client. Gather requirement. Gather a requirement. We are going to gather the requirement. Whatever the requirement we have gathered, we'll prepare a document functional design document functional design document we are going to define once we define the define or prepare the functional design document then we will start doing the setups configuration we are going to perform the setups we are going to configure the product after configuration of the product we are going to test once we test the product successfully, then again, we will go for trying the end users, end users and the super users, end users and the super users. After that, we are going for go live. Then we are going to have the support. So we, as a functional consultant, we are going to involve with the designing stage development stage, testing stage, as well as in the production, as well as in the production. So if we if we talk a uh, general uh, language, uh, whenever, like, for example, you are attending for an interview and are you functional consultant or technical consultant, they'll ask us. If you say I'm a functional consultant, tell me what is your uh, responsibility or day-to-day -day activity. What is your role in the current project or what, what you are doing last four years or five years? Then what we have to explain is, I'm a functional consultant in human capital management cloud. So far, I have been uh, in this particular ERP, cloud ERP, conducting the workshops to the client and interacting with the clients, business users, and gather the requirement, preparing the functional designing documents. After that, configuration of the setups, and then perform the setups after that we are going to test the setups whatever we have done and we are going to test the application then we are going to train uh, the end users and as well as the super users to make sure that how to use this particular application then go live after we go for go live then support so once we implement the module then client will start performing the operations, day-to-day -day operations during the transactions, if they get any problem. For example, HR manager is trying to transfer an employee from one business unit to another business unit, but system is not allowing, then what could be the reason? Then they'll raise a ticket. 
when they raise the ticket, we have to verify what is that employee. As a functional consultant, we have to cross-check. Are there any future assignments for this employee? And uh, whether this uh, yeah. that business unit second BU is active status or not? How about the business unit level jobs or positions are available in that BU or not? Okay, so this all, uh, we are going to take the input and start working on this particular area. So this is how it will uh, work. This is how it's going to work here. It is. So that's our responsibility as a functional consultant and day-to-day -day activity. It's mainly we can say that as a functional consultant, we'll be interacting with the business users, gather the requirement and prepare a documentation and doing the setups and test the application and then deliver this application to the client and provide the support for the client. That's what we have to explain. So when we say that uh, here, very high level designing stage means as is document and to be document. As is means what is the current business process. To be means what, what is the expected business process. These documents will be prepared designing development designing development testing again we will find the unit test integration test here unit test integration test uat user acceptance test okay and after testing then we will go for support then we are going for support over here okay. so these are very high level options we are going to have very high level options we are going to have it here yes. So then they'll ask us, okay, tell me uh, which modules uh, you have done. Global HR, payroll, options, talent management, whatever the modules we are flexible that we are going to explain. And in that module, what exactly you have done? For example, if we talk about the global HR module, uh, we have to say that I involved in the global HR module in the configuration of enterprise structure, workforce structure, and also the trees uh, hierarchy setup as well as employee workforce life cycle and configuration of roles and uh, securities and mass updates, position synchronization setups, employment model setup, configuration of person number, worker number setup. So this is all uh, we have done. So that, that that's what uh, module wise we have to be clear that we can go for explain when we are explaining the detailed information about uh, our responsibility as a functional consultant in the cloud HCM. Okay. Thank you.